Well, people who depend on I-275 have been dealing with a construction headache in between Eureka and Five Mile for the last two years. Well, now many of those same drivers will have to deal with repairs with another construction headache on nearby I-96 and M-14. And Ali Hoxie is here now to explain the planned work there and, of course, to give us an update on the work on 275. So, Keenan and Alicia, some good news when it comes to I-275. The work there is almost done, but once complete, drivers will have to get ready for even more work in the area. What has the work on I-275 been like? It's a nightmare. Luckily, that nightmare is almost over. How is the uh, 275 project going? Uh, excellent. We, we're ahead of schedule. Um, we're happy with the progress we're making. We got an early start this year, which has greatly benefited us uh, looking into the fall. We're definitely on target for a Thanksgiving completion. Oh, good. We get to have turkey and no traffic. Wow, that's exciting. Don't get too excited just yet. Jobs for people like Andrew Budai, who oversees the I-275 project, are not in short supply. He will go from I-275 to a new project, the rebuilding of I-96 and M-14. Next spring, they're going to be working on an M-14 and I-96. I uh, know. Well, hey, you know how 96 can be. It can be really congested and really busy. The work will be in between Newburgh and Sheldon. New pavement will be installed as well as some drainage and bridge work. It will start next spring and is expected to be a three year project. The work will look a lot like what is currently underway on I-275. So that project like 275 is going to be where it maintains two lanes of traffic on one bound and we do a full reconstruct on the other side. It's going to be down to two lanes. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. I thank you for the news. Sorry to be the bad bearer of news. Yeah, it comes with the title of traffic anchor, unfortunately. The project is estimated to cost around $135 million and will be paid for through the governor's bonding program. All right. Well, yeah, it's uh, it's not something you want to hear, but at least he now has time to prepare. Start thinking about alternate routes. Yeah, it's nice to have that warning and that heads up. Don't get too excited just yet about 275 being complete. So, All right. well, the worst, the only thing that's worse than having to deal with construction is having to deal with construction in the rain.